potato. So, all right. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Mr. Hayes here to show you how to load film like this into a developing spool like this. But first, I'm going to take off these sunglasses because I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, that's better. As a disclaimer, I'm going to be showing you how to do this outside in the full room light. But later on, you will have to do this entire process inside a changing bag like this one. It cannot be done in the dark room in the red light. That's too much. You have to be in complete total darkness. When you get film, after we have rolled it for you, it will have this little leading little tongue here. That's necessary to get it into the take-up spool of the camera. But I have learned over the years that it's difficult to get it into a developing spool with that there. So the first thing you want to practice is taking a pair of these kindergarten scissors and giving your film a nice gentle little curve like that. Then with the developing spool, you will notice it has two halves, a left and a right. They go together like this, and there are two flat little surfaces right here. I call them the little Bucky Beaver teeth. Little Bucky Beaver teeth there. You're gonna have those facing yourself when you start to load the film. So we have our curved edge. It simply goes over those two flat little surfaces right there. And then you're gonna do this alternating left and right thumb motion. With your right thumb down on that spool and your left thumb up, you're gonna gently push your film forward. Then hold it down with your left thumb and pull that half of the spool back. Left thumb up, right thumb down, it goes forward. Left thumb down, right thumb up, it comes back. And you simply progress along. And if you can see it in the video, see how the film is moving slowly inside the spool. The spool is a spiral that descends coming from the outside, getting closer on the inside. And if you do this right, the spool will keep your film from touching, which is really, really critical. You don't want the film to touch. Okay, now I have just come around my first revolution inside, and sometimes the film comes around and it bumps into that little part of the tooth. If it does that, just kind of gently guide it underneath, and then continue on. If you have a good spool, and everything's working right, it should go nice, gentle, and smooth. But if it feels like you're jamming it, or you have to force it, or it's sticking, and you're forcing it really hard, start over again. Start over again, take it apart, take your film out. Because if it feels like it's getting forced, it probably is. And that means your film is touching, and it won't develop properly. Now, if you're having troubles, check out your film. The edges of it need to be perfectly smooth. If you have any kind of like bend or a cut or a tear, you're going to have to see me because we're going to have to find a different method to get your film developed. Okay, so you're going to do this once outside in the room like this. And then have somebody film you inside of a changing bag like this. It has two layers, an inner and an outer layer. You've got to put all of your developing parts inside of here. Your film. Zip it up. Zip. And now you can't see anything. So it gets heck of tricky. Both hands in there. Oh my god. What is this? Did you leave your sandwich in here again? What? Oh, that's Sorry, disgusting. Oh. My fish died in there. It's like mac and cheese, I think. Ugh. Okay, so now inside the bag, you've got to find your spool, find your little the teeth, get your film, load it into the spool. La, 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 la. And there you go. It's in here somewhere. You know it is. Ta-da! 
Okay, so you're going to film all that. Also, in your video, I want you to identify all the parts you need to develop your film. A spool. The spool insert. Tank bottom. Tank top. The little top, the hat, that I call it, the little red hat that goes on top of the whole tank when it's all assembled. This keeps the water in when you're developing. All of these parts, before you start putting film in here, all of these parts have to be completely, absolutely, without question, totally dry. If they are not, you're going to activate the emulsion layer of your film, and it's going to turn into one gigantic two-foot-long post-it stick, and it will never go anywhere. So totally dry. You have to have all these parts. If you forget this, your film will be exposed to light. Soon this will be easy, and off you go. Once you learn how to do that, the next step is to put chemicals in and develop your film, which you already know how to do. Nice talking to you.